Chris Bukowski of Emerging Civil War. I'm at the Petersburg National Battlefield in front of one of the most iconic spots of the whole Civil War. This is the crater. We're going to take a few minutes and explore the landscape here and talk about this story. The Battle of the Crater took place in Petersburg on July 30th, 1864. Union troops dug a mine under the Confederates with the intent of blowing a hole in the line that would then allow Federals to charge through and break the stalemate that had settled between the two armies. Union Commander Ulysses S. Grant wasn't a big believer in the plan, but he was glad for something to keep the men busy. Yeah, I seem to think that... What is this? So, remember I told you the Union soldiers dug a tunnel? That's the opening of the tunnel. Coal miners of the 48th Pennsylvania toiled round the clock. Using only cracker boxes, they hauled 18,000 cubic feet of dirt out of the mine. It took these guys about a month to complete the mine. They dug it with a T at the end, which then they packed with four tons of gunpowder. Now, they'd identified this is the perfect place to try this experiment because of the topography. They're on the backside of this hill. And that kept them completely hidden from the Confederates up top and beyond, so the Pennsylvanians could work in secret. Confederates did eventually get suspicious and tried to dig countermines, but couldn't find the Federals. I'm going to stop for a second where the path crosses the Confederate picket line, which you can see running along the crest here. And if you're from the Confederate perspective, looking back where Maxwell is headed, um, the mine is off on the other side of the crest of that hill. So you can see why the topography is so ideal here, because the Confederates can't see a thing what the Federals are up to uh, just beyond their noses. The explosion came at 4.44 a.m., making a hole 170 feet long, 120 feet wide, and 30 feet deep. You can still see the footprint today. In fact, the crater itself has long been a tourist attraction. This photo's creepy. You can actually still see bones down there. A last minute change put unprepared troops at the vanguard of the attack, and instead of going around the crater, they went into it and then got stuck, couldn't get back out. A second wave of Federals, United States Colored Troops, followed the first and got stuck too. On the back side of the crater is a monument to Billy Mahone. Uh, love Billy Mahone, great character. Uh, does a lot of stuff during the Overland Campaign and uh, particularly the wilderness with the Longstreet's flank attack. Uh, so a great stalwart guy, one of those fellows who really rose to um, command as opportunities presented themselves and a guy that uh, Lee would lean on more and more as the war went on. And make no mistake, the racial animosity of Mahone's men motivated them to slaughter the black troops instead of taking them prisoner. It was an absolute terrible, terrible incident. Why is there blood here? Because a guy got shot. And they all died? Yep. All of them, even the shooting, shooting ones? Federals lost nearly 3,800 men, Confederates nearly 1,500. Grant called it the saddest affair he had witnessed in the war. For Emerging Civil War at Petersburg National Battlefield, I'm Chris Mikowski with my junior assistant, Maxwell. Thanks for joining us.